Hey guys, it's me Evelyn here on the Running Guy and today I'm going to show you guys how I make my coloring, my coloring PSDs in Photoshop. So if we look at our image, we have mostly blues, yellows, and then skin tones. So with this, the coloring can be anything you want it to be, to be honest. You can do whatever you want with colorings. But for me, I'm going to try to make it uh, more different. Maybe try to um, enhance certain colors, but overall make it nice. Now when you're making coloring PSDs, you can go to layer and click the a new fill layer, a new adjustment layer, and you can add them like so. But you're always going to have to click, click OK when you do that. I hate doing that, to be honest. So what I like to do is like go, like to go down here into my layers and click the adjustments as well. And we have all the adjustments here for us to simply get to easy. So first of all, I like to select color. Select the color, and I'm going to start with the colors that are most prominent, which are blues. And I'm just going to go ahead and toggle this letter and as you see it's turning a bit more purple so I'm going to actually like that so I'm going to keep it pretty high and we're going into the magentas and we're going to pull it up as well because we want our blues to be more purple like so and you can also affect it like so turn it darker or lighter I'm going to pull it more magenta and then we can get the black so we could make it bright or darken it and we keep it at darken and we're going to go into yellows because we have yellow on the back of his head and then on her face and stuff so you can also affect those as well by playing with the slider. If you go into the yellow part here you can actually change the color to make it less yellow as you can see we just took it away which is pretty good and you can also affect it more so like in the hair we can pull it like that so as you see the yellow is practically almost gone from before to after which is pretty good. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit more if you guys can see that. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and play with the neutrals. And I'm going to affect the color a little bit more. So I'm going to pull some more of the CNN and to make it more purple, like so. Pull a little bit of the yellow in so you can see come some of the yellow pulling back. If you don't want, you can pull it out that way, but you'll get more blue in. So I'm just going to pull it in slightly. And then, of course, we can darken it or lighten it to our liking. I'm going to actually darken it just a smidge. Like so. Next, we can go ahead into the whites, which are just basically like this. You will affect the Yu-Gi-Oh's shirt as well as the whites in the image and possibly the skin tone. But you can mess with it if you want and change it around a bit. I'm just going to affect it just a little bit, like so. We can also mess with the reds because there's also some red in the image. Um, I'm not really sure if it's actually going to show up here. I see the shadows mostly in Yu-Gi-Oh's hair and will be mostly effective with this. So we can actually affect it if we wanted to, but we don't really have to. So I'm just going to pull it back to zero. Like so. And we can also do CN. I'm not sure if CN is going to be affected much. Just a little bit in the slightly back. So we don't really need to affect those as well. Next I'm going to go ahead and add a color balance. And we're just going to go ahead and pull some more color into it using the color balance. So I'm going to pull some more blue just to kind of flatten out those colors a bit. And I forgot to um, toggle on the black in this one here because I want to pull some black in so that her hair is not all purple. As you can see, it would affect her hair mostly. Then just pull that in. You can just do it on either, on all of them or just one of them. It's up to you. I like to do it on all of them so that if I were to do another color, it won't affect the hair. And it would kind of stay on, in its dark state like so. Back to color balance. We can just affect the color some more. I'm going to keep this like so so that it's not all purple in the skin area. Maybe pull some yellow back into it just to give the, the skin tone more color. We're going to go ahead into highlights and that's the white of the image and you can bring in some more highlights if you need to. And for me when I'm making my color PCs I just like to just pull in I just like to go through all the settings pull the slides until I find something that I like and then I just go with it. I don't have no specific way of making colorings unless I want to do something like this where I'm just changing the overall color of an image just to make it a little bit more interesting. Next I'm going to go ahead and go into channel mixer and see what we can do here. We're on the blue already so I'm going to pull the blue down just a little bit. Maybe pull that up a bit. Like so. We're going to go into the green channels and see what we can do with that. Pull that up just add it back to 100 just because we don't want that to be affected fully like so and then reds and you can actually mess with the adjustments if you want to on these ones 
um, I'm probably not going to mess with anything on these ones just because I don't see it changing anything I like so I'm just going to leave that at 100, 0, and 0. Mm. Next I'm going to go ahead and add a hue saturation and here we're going to go into the magenta and we're going to kind of play with the settings a little bit. We can actually bring it back to the original coloring like it was almost just by playing with this here. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to um, just kind of amplify the color that I already have and make it more vibrant. But it's kind of changing them as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and mess with that. I'm going to go into the reds and see what would change. Their skin tone would change mostly. So I'm just going to pull that up to give them a more vibrancy. Next I'm going to gradient map and probably add a gradient map to give it more color. Maybe something like this. I'm going to play with the settings. And soft light looks good. Kind of gives a little light color, so we're going to pull that down. And if you have too much of a mixture of these colors, you can always slide them down so they're not too powerful. It's like I pulled down my selected coloring layer down to 81. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a curves, and I'm just going to go ahead and mess with the curves a little bit and pull it down a bit. Go into the greens to see if that affects anything. And the blues. And then the reds. And we're just going to lower the opacity to about halfway. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a vibrant to, vib to make the color more vibrant, like so. As well as, I'm going to add a photo filter. And we can go ahead and just see which filter looks good on the image. I like deep blue. You can also pull up the density if you want to give it more color. But I'm going to leave it around 25, like so. I'm going to add another gradient, regular gradient. I'm going to do black to white. And I'm just going to click OK. And set it to soft light. And then lower the opacity. Then what I'm going to do is add one more hue saturation. And I'm just going to kind of toggle with the coloring a bit. And the overall. Or basically, you can just mess with the other colors in here. So do magenta again. Let's see what we can do. You can actually lower it down if you want. I'm going to go ahead and add another selective color and just see what I can get out of this one here as well and just change it a bit. Just to make it more And that's how I make the colorings. And this one, this coloring is not the best, but it it came out nicely as before and after. You can go and drag in another photo from similar or a different one. So this one's more red than blue, but you can always pull in the coloring and see how it affects that image. And it affected it almost similar, but it's more red. So you can always, you know, go into your reds here and just mess with those as well. And as you see, like you can always adjust the uh, PSD coloring that was there previously. I have another image that we can use here. We have this one here. It's just a yu gi Um, And you can just pull this coloring over as well and see how it affects this coloring. And that one, it affects it nicely. It doesn't change much. It actually enhances this color more so than anything else. So if you guys like this uh, tutorial, I know it's not the best, but I was requested and I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me ideas for more tutorials and I hope to have more for you guys soon. Bye guys.